book two. My name is Shannon and it is day two of the book two-a-thon and I am super excited and I've had a crazy week and don't mind the fact that I'm not wearing any makeup. I don't really care. <laughs> I did not do the challenge for day one because I ended up being extremely busy yesterday which I kind of anticipated and ended up not doing the challenge but I am definitely participating today and I am going to be doing the Say My Name challenge, which is to spell out your favorite book's title with books. There are actually two ways to complete this challenge. You can actually spell out the name of the book with actual physical books, or you can just use the first letter of each title of different books to spell it out. I have decided I will be doing both of these to make up for the fact that I did not do yesterday's challenge. The book title that I will be spelling out today is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which is one of my favorite novels of all time. I have it right here on my shelf. I don't know if that's in frame though, but I am super excited to do this challenge, and without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start with the F in Fangirl, and for this, I've decided to use the Harry Potter series because I thought that was clever, because she is a fan in the book. Kath is a fan of a series that's kind of reminiscent of Harry Potter, and so I thought it would be the right book series to use as the first letter in this challenge. Okay, let's see how this goes. Also, the first two books are missing. Um, not missing. I'm just reading the first one and going to read the second one, so that's on my TBR pile. Maybe I should grab it. One sec. Okay, now we've got Chamber of Secrets, and that is going to be the top of the F. And then I think we'll have Prisoner of Azkaban right here. And then we can put Goblet of Fire like this. Mm, yeah. When you realize that you put Deathly Hallows instead of Half-Blood Prince and you need it to be in order or you will go crazy. Whatever, I'm just gonna put this <laughs> Deathly Hallows right here and just have a huge gigantic F at the beginning and then hopefully the rest of the letters will be smaller so that it can fit. For the A, I'm using um, Contemporaries and using Rainbow Rowell's actual books, including Fangirl, which is actually the title that we're trying to create here. So let's see, I'm gonna start it down here because we want it to be smaller. Um, so let's see, <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know how to make a circle with books, so, or how to have the spine up. Good job, me. Okay, um, so we're gonna need more contemporaries than just rainbows. So I'm using Zoe Sugg's Girl Online series and the Laura Jean series by Jenny Han. Hey, this actually isn't too bad, but it's gigantic. Let's make this circle just a bit smaller. How do you make an A? Uh, okay. Um, and then second book. And we'll tuck that in like that. Does that look like an A? A lowercase A? That's what I'm trying to complete here. Here, let's try and do it this way. <laughs> okay. Ah, not too bad. I'm going to move this over just a bit so that we can see <laughs> the entire word and hopefully fit it. Okay, I've moved the camera a bit so that you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. But now I am going to use the Lunar Chronicles to create my N here. Oh, it's like book dominoes. Okay. I may have to use a different series though, just because these won't stand up because they're paperback. Ugh, the struggle. Honestly, I enjoy reading paperback books more than I enjoy hardback books, and that's why I have these as paperback, but in this case, I think I'm going to have to use hardback books. No idea how I'm going to make a lowercase g with books. So I'm going to use To All the Boys I've Loved Before and see if we can make a g. <laughs> 
Okay, and then I, I'm going to use the third book in Zoella's series here. Let's do the same thing we did with the A, <laughs> and then just add a little hanger, what, whatever it's called, on a G, a lowercase G. I really don't know how I'm going to fit this all right here. Let's move it over a bit. Okay, and then move this over a bit. Oh, no, no book dominoes. <laughs> uh, Winter, why are you doing this? Stay. Oh, what, 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 what? There. Okay, and now I'm using wires and nerve and divergent books to finish off my G. I don't know if the first divergent book is going to work because it's paperback, but I can use the other ones to finish my G here. <laughs> there we go. I've decided to use Connor Franta books as my I, and then I'm using four from the Divergent series, open like this as the dots on the eye. <laughs> so this is what this masterpiece looks like from the top. Fangirl! I think we have a very successful attempt at today's challenge. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Just a fangirl sitting with her books, spelling out fangirl. <laughs> so for the next part of the challenge, I decided that I'm actually going to do a different book title to play around with it. So I am going to be spelling out the book thief with the first letter of each different title in these books. So let's rearrange them and see how this goes. <laughs> For T, whoa, T, to all the boys I've loved before. H, 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 H. H. Oh my gosh. What book starts with H? What book title starts with H? Ah. <laughs> we goes through the entire Harry Potter series. <gasps> Half Blood Prince. I'm using it. Oh. <laughs> started with H. Who knows where that came from? For E, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And we have the. Now it's time for book. Book. The book thief, obviously, will be the first book to represent this. Now we need an O. Once again, what book starts with O? Does Order of the Phoenix count? Mm. <laughs> Technically it starts with Harry Potter. Let's see if we can find a different book that starts with O. Ooh. I really don't think there is one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Order of the Phoenix. Don't judge me for using Harry Potter books, okay? Um, Order of the Phoenix, now I need another O. This is difficult. Why is this more difficult than spelling out fangirl with books? <sighs> I'm like literally just staring at my bookshelf like, book that has a title beginning with O, please gravitate toward me. Cause I can't think of one. <laughs> oh no, I've gotta think of one. Mm. I'm gonna stretch the rules a bit and use Gregory the Overlander. It's not technically beginning with an O, but I couldn't find any other. Okay, now for K. These are weird letters. Why would, why, why? K. Is there a book that starts with K? Somebody help me. I thought of one, I thought of one, I thought of one. Ugh. Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dessen. We've got our K. Now we have book, the book. Now we need to spell out thief. This may sound crazy, but Abigail Breslin begins with a T. Yay, we found one. Now H. These are such weird letters. Like, I didn't realize how weird the letters in the book thief were to start words until I tried to do this. Um, H. <laughs> what book starts with H? The Host, because the does not count. It's an article. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. H. Now we need I. I. I? Why? I? I bet, like, there are people screaming at the screen books that I could use, but I can't think of them. Uh, the closest I see is P.S. I still love you, but that doesn't technically start with an I. It starts with a P. Ah, insurgent! 
<laughs> I bet like five people or more were screaming that at the screen. But I found it. I, me, checks the spelling of the book thief real quick to make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is it E I? Nope, it's correct. It's I E. Now I need to find another E besides Eleanor and Park. Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't want to use another Harry Potter book because it feels kind of like a cop-out when it's not actually an H that starts with Harry. Um, so, E, a book that has a title beginning with E. Uh, why is this so much harder than I thought it would be? Eclipse from the Twilight series. One sec. Oh. Okay, B. Now all we need is an F, and that's super easy. It's the other book that we spelled out, Fangirl. So now it says The Book Thief. Yay, we did it. Let's show you up close what this looks like. Here we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Eleanor and Park, The Book Thief, Harry Potter, again, for an H. Wait, what? O, Order of the Phoenix. Uh, Gregor the Overlander. I know both of my O's are kind of cheating, but you know. Um, keeping the Moon. And then for Thief, we have, this may sound crazy, The Host, Insurgent, Eclipse, and Fangirl. Ta-da! The Book Thief! We did it! So that is it for today's Booktubeathon video. I have decided not to do reading vlogs throughout the day because that would just be way too much and I wouldn't get enough reading done. But I hope you are enjoying my challenge videos. We'll see how many I'm able to get up this week. Again, sorry I couldn't do yesterday's challenge, but I had so much fun doing this and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you next week with another new video or next time since it's booktube -a Bye! But I'm trying to test this shot. How about this? What does this look like? I cannot tell. Let's try this one. The aftermath of filming a booktube -a video. <laughs> I have so many books on my floor and now I have to clean them all up, edit, and hopefully read a little before a friend comes over. Oh boy. Mm -hmm.